Hello and welcome. It is the uh, final day of July, the 31st, uh, 2016. And let's take a look at the uh, monthly uh, silver chart as it closed with a gain of over 9%. And this is the same chart I showed on the 12th of July. It's just nothing much has changed other than the price down in nickel at 2039. So pretty much the exact same thing. And uh, when you see a chart like this where there's like no lower tick, like you see on a lot of these uh, previous tech uh, ones, that represents uh, where the price was at one point within that period, which states there was no lower price and where it started at and that the lows occurred right at the start of the uh, period or the first day of July. Usually in the chart where you have that green candle, that highs occurred near the end of that period or the end of the month, but that was not the case here. It was the 4th of July. And there was no breaking either the high or the low for the rest of the month. And uh, that was during a holiday when usually markets don't uh, trade too volatile. Well, surely wasn't the case here. But silver is an interesting market. It's very small. And when you consider the astronomical moves that have occurred in the past, that gains that you could be looking at into triple figures is not that big of a shock within potential and future bull markets. Okay, throwing that part aside, it's pretty clear to state that if I were to just think of what the daily chart would look like, if we've had 20, 30 days or 20, 20 trading days almost of just going in between a uh, little under 20 to into the 20s, then it's just going sideways above and below its 18 average band. The weekly chart, well, it's been going sideways for a few weeks, just uh, slowing down the gains uh, and giving it some time consolidation. So not much more to state there. But I do have another chart, which is the yearly chart, with, with each candle representing a single year. Going back to 1917, a lot of this data in the previous periods, I did the best for my research to find it on a historical level. But the key one in 1980, you can say, oh my goodness, all the manipulation, the Hunt brothers, come on. It's never been worth that much. And you know what? Yeah, you're probably right. Because markets, when they hit highs and lows, are often over and undervalued. So when something gets too high, it is literally too high. And when it's too low, it's, it's literally too low. Which is where I still think we are today because a lot of the sideways correction that's been going on but the manipulation, man, I mean, we can't compare that because of what was what the thing, what was going on back then. And quite frankly, what was going on today is a lot bigger than what's ever went up and going on in anyone's life, anyone's lifetime that's still around. This will probably be the biggest event that's about to occur within the next few months or years or maybe a decade or two within the fiat currency collapse on, on a global level. So you'd have you've researched maybe the fall of the Roman Empire will Future generations will research the fall of the fiat empire, a global event. It's going on in Venezuela right now, and it's going on in other parts of the world as well, too. But anyway, within this chart, you see the 18 average band, okay, support, support. And this didn't support well, but it supported for a while, and then support here, support right now. Obviously, big moves can occur at any time. It can occur both up and down, but when you're talking about long term, there's no way of manipulating this to go down in the lower end stratosphere. And if they did, it sure as heck couldn't be going down for quite some time. The only reason they got away with this is the awareness of money creation, fiat currency, precious metals was so low that those who knew were able to get in at such a magnificent price but so i believe is the case today as if you're in venezuela and you were listening to, the, to all these videos and reading the stuff in 2008 29 2010 not 2012 and so on uh the gold and silver that you are buying is able to get you out of the country get you food maybe but definitely give you the upper hand within these uh interesting times that we are uh, currently in so, yourself a great day bye-bye